we see the West completely lost their mind regarding the war in Russia. They openly admitted they had war with Russia, and they constantly claim that Russia is taking a giant economic hit because of sanctions. It was a bad mistake by Putin. Even though a lot of credible reporting by people like Fiorella, Isabel from the Convo Couch, uh, mm-hmm. Tara Reid, who now live in Moscow now, people I talk to, people I have contact with, they're like, dude, it's beautiful over there. There was a story about how the Russian economy is rebounding. The Russian, the Russian economy is doing amazing despite the sanctions because Russia is prepared for this. But despite that fact, the narrative is Russia is paying for this. Europe is standing in solidarity with NATO and the United States to crush the Russian menace. Do you guys understand the cost of that? What is the cost of this war? And what are you guys getting? Just for NATO expansion? To degrade the Russian military, even though their arms production has an all-time high, they're making military alliances left and right with North Korea, with China, right? They're making big moves in a way that no one could have predicted. And now you have Germany, who once envied the world because they fell victim of NATO geopolitics, and they just decided to give up their sovereignty to the United States and NATO because we know the key. A goal of the United States was to wane Germany from Russian energy independence, right? Dependence, right? They wanted Germany to be t- dependent on United States gas and Western economies. That's something the United States wanted to pull off for a very long time. So Germany, under the leadership of many neoliberals, finally decided to listen to them. And now they turn the other way, for example, when Joe Biden bought the Nord Stream pipeline. And when that happened, not only is that a giant environmental disaster, that is horrific for Ger- Germany energy production and energy prices. After the Nord Stream pipeline, say after that, you're going to have massive surges in Germany energy prices. The economy is going to be in shambles because of them uh, leaving Russian uh, common trade with oil, right? So now we're seeing the fruits being bare. Once again, this short story, so I quickly cover this. Germany went from envy of the world to the worst performing major developed economy. What happened? For little alert, it was NATO. <laughs> the loss of cheap gas from Russia played a part, but decisions in the boom years are now being questioned. For most of this century, Germany racked, racked up one economic success after another, dominating global market for high-end products like luxury cars and industry machinery, selling so much to the rest of the world that half the economy ran on exports. Jobs were plentiful, and the government financial coffers grew as other European economies drowned in debt. And books were written about what other countries could do and what could learn what they could learn from Germany. No longer. <laughs> now Germany is the world's Worst performing major developed com- uh, economy with both the International Monetary Fund and European Union expecting it to shrink this year. It follows Russian invasion of Ukraine and oh shit, <laughs> I actually put the wrong button. They go back to it. Here it is. Um, it follows Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the loss of Moscow's cheap natural gas, an unprecedented shock to Germany's energy intensive industry. Hey, CJ, who could have saw that coming? A bunch of college dropouts. My Midwestern ass with a thick ass accent who dropped out of college called this shit over a year ago. CJ, remember the question that I asked you guys over a year ago? Yeah, a bunch of liberals like, we win the war in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, we doing great. Russia economy is doing great. I'm like, what's going to happen when this energy crisis hit? They're like, nigga, don't worry about that. Y'all niggas are Debbie Downers. Oh, my God, you guys being so negative. <laughs> you, guys talk, you guys talking about energy Debbie crisis. Like, let's, let's believe in positive thinking. We're going to beat Russia. And now they're facing reality. You got propagandists going on corporate media. Like, Putin is weaponizing energy now. Like, Putin weaponizing winter. <laughs> the weather Putin sorcerer. Is, <laughs> he, Putin's a winter sorcerer. He's the energy <laughs> god now. <laughs> oh, no, maybe this is something... Uh... That you guys should have considered before waging war. Um, Germany risks deindustrialization. What what is the goal of uh, W uh, the World Economic Forum? They've been talking about this for a very long time, and they use NATO, and they got Germany away from Russia independence at the same time. So you guys understand when Joe Scarborough and MSNBC and CNN, I see this all the time. I watch too much of it. 
where they say Biden has done a fantastic job on foreign policy, uniting our allies, rallying the world by Europe. You guys understand how unhinged they are? <laughs> they are praising Joe Biden because he was successful at getting Germany and the UK to have a foreign policy that is against their own interests, and they consider that a boon. They're like, look at how what Joe Biden now for parts. Look at how you unite our allies. Look at how they got Germany to work against their own interests. Isn't that great? Isn't Jim Crow Joe amazing because he helped tank Germany and the UK? Because not only Germany that's struggling, the UK is infinite, infamously been struggling. That's why they've been going through prime ministers left and right, right? The UK, and this, I just grabbed this literally today. I've been there've been ongoing coverage of the UK economy being absolute shambles. The UK economy hit by renewed signs of stress as growth slows pound at six month low. Now, Morning Joe even did a segment on this. I don't know if you remember that, but we covered this a, like a few months ago. Where they even had to acknowledge the reality that the UK economy is actually fucking trash right now. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Why? Because they follow the direction of NATO, the United States, and rugged free market capitalism, individualism. What's popping wrong? <laughs> What's bossy wrong dropped in? Uh, I'm gonna put you on the air. What's popping wrong? Shit, man, I have time on my hands. I'm like, let me hurry up and get on. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, had a fun, you came. A, a fun yeah. stream. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm happy you came because you came right for the right uh segment, which we're about to start talking about Trump and uh Joe Biden. But uh <laughs> I do I do have uh like just segment after segment, Nick, we do just prove that the ruling class. The powers that be, they're reckless with the power that they have, and it's, a, it's, it's affecting so many people, and that, and that power simply has to be removed, and the only way to do that is an international uh, workers' movement or revolution, if that's what you want to call it. I mean, it's just, there's no way around it. With, I mean, just just story after story, including this, this short segment we're talking, it's just no way around it. Um, yeah, that's what we're talking words, about yeah. with Germany. Like, they're they going to... They're gonna yeah, feel exactly. it, they're gonna feel it bad, man. They're gonna they're gonna go through it bad. And I, I feel some type of empathy for the for the people, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Of course, there's Absolutely. fucked up people out there, but what I feel bad about is they are not educated on what's to come. You know, what's happening right now was hard for them to even get in touch with people like us. You know, any news programs that's even saying stuff like this. And I feel like they're gonna find us in, in real hard times. They're gonna they're gonna find us when it's too late. And it's gonna suck. 